Hey you guys, this is Beth from Dainty Daisies Merchandise. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I am a part-time reseller and a stay-at-home mom to my three little, little babies. Today we're gonna do, of course, a Goodwill Blue Box unboxing. This one is from Lake Worth, Florida. Uh, I've gotten a couple boxes from Florida recently, so I am happy about that. I feel like Florida does fairly well on their boxes. I haven't got one for Tennessee in a while, so I guess that's good. Um, cause for some reason, some of those places like Tennessee and I think Ohio too, I get a lot of costume jewelry, which isn't terrible. Like I said, I mostly sell costume jewelry, but, um, it's nice to get some of those gold pieces. Like last week's video it was so awesome. I still haven't even posted it. Um, really debating on some of the, sometimes those higher end pieces, sometimes I like to keep them, especially like gold or silver, some of those as well I like to keep. So it's hard to... Hard not to keep some of those things sometimes, right? So if you're new to this channel, thank you so much for subscribing. And um, if you did subscribe, if you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button for me. And of course, leave me a comment or a like. I am still, I feel like I'm still so new at this stuff. So if you guys have any information to share or you know some knowledge to share with me, please do so. I'm here to learn. And I hope you learn a little bit from my channel as well, because that's kind of the purpose of this channel is to really help each other learn and also to do a little treasure hunt. So I'm seeing some, I think some good pieces. This kind of looks like pearls to me. Um, looks like we got some, Oh, it says sterling. So looks like we got some goodies. Let's hope for goodies at least. So as you guys can see, I got my nails done for once in my life. I never get my nails done, so I hope you guys enjoy my pink Barbie nails this week. <laughs> it was a little bit brighter pink than I thought. All right, so first up is mm, little holy bangle bracelet. I'm looking for any markings here. And if you're new to like the jewelry world, I try to do two separate piles. I do a lot pile, so that's kind of the box that you saw as a lot box. And then um, I do like a keep pile, and those are those are items obviously that I'm gonna keep and try and resell. So this is just like a stretchy band bracelet. I'm gonna probably put that in a lot. Um, and you'll also hear me talking about you know some pieces um, I'm gonna sell on certain websites as well. So some some items like the more trendy pieces I'm gonna be selling on Poshmark. I know a couple of you reached out and asked me like what where do you sell your items? I'm having trouble selling certain pieces. So I really encourage people to try out different websites. For some reason Poshmark is really something that does really well for me. Um, it's very social media based so you get to share your items and you also get to um, share other people's, you get to add friends and stuff like that. So it really, I think it's that social media based, um, uh, like software or, you know, whatever you want to call it. That's, but it's very easy to share. And I feel like, you know, you can bargain on there. You can ask, it's not like a solid price. So like eBay and, um, even Etsy, those have been a little bit harder for me to sell things on. And I've kind of really, drop down on selling on those um, websites just because it's so much easier for me to sell on Poshmark. So I encourage people to check out Poshmark. Um, you know, it might might be something good for you. So this says Sterling. It does have a marking on the back. Where did my, where did my loop go? There it is. So you guys can check me out on Poshmark at Dainty Do Merch. You guys can check out my other ones in the description below on Etsy and eBay. And also, um, you can email me if you're interested in a piece. So if you comment on here and it's taken me a little while, shoot me an email. I get it kind of right away. So, but this is nice. It looks like a little charm. It's an L, so 925. So I'll definitely resell that. It's a good piece. Now this is like a funky looking pearls to me. It's on a stretch band. Let's see, they are gritty. It's kind of like bigger on the... I feel like they're bigger. Yeah, they're bigger over here and a little bit smaller over there. So this is a cool little piece. I like those dark pearls. I like a dark pearl. Most of you like the Tahitian pearls. I don't know if these would be Tahitian pearls. I'm still learning. So you guys give me your opinion. I don't, I don't think so. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll do some research. Hmm. Just a little dangle drop earring here. It's pretty. It's got the Aurora Borealis type of gemstones there dangles down so I'll put it to the side we'll see if we can find a match 
These are like looped together. It almost feels like aluminum, very lightweight. Yeah, I don't see any markings. They're in good shape, so I'll have to think about that. I'll think about you. like a never-ending necklace over here. Really long one. All right, so looks like we got a little elephant. Yeah, fake pearls, but nice cute little elephant. So that's a sellable piece. It's a nice brooch. Just trying to see if there's any names on it and Trying to see if there's any markings on here. Um, one of the comments, oh, I can't remember who it was, I'm sorry. Um, comment said, make sure you check the bar and that's really smart. I actually, sometimes I forget to do that. So make sure you check in that bar too. I don't see anything, but that's really nice. It's a pretty pretty little flower, I like the green stones on the side with the flower, you know, stones on there too. Like hoop earring, oh, little hoop earring. Hmm. Eh, it's okay. Pretty little X on there. Looks like we have a little something. Hmm, maybe it's a size. I think it says nine or six, one of the two. A? Six A? I don't know. Let's get the old Presidium out. Let's see if she rings anything up on the Nice little gems. Nope. But it's a good looking ring. Good shape. Don't see any really like bad tarnishing or anything on it. Let's see. Ooh, I like it. I actually got my ring finally resized. I get to pick it up this week. So you guys get to see my wedding ring. <laughs> I love it. I miss it. I haven't worn it in like a couple months. All right, look like a little seed bead necklace. Another, this is a very, that very not long necklace. I was trying to untangle there for a second. Mm. Definitely good for crafting. I try to resell these boxes to people who craft or just wanna do their own little treasure hunt. Y'all might see a piece of jewelry that you like and I might lot it up just because it's not, not super sellable in my opinion, um, but you might like it. and. Good for you, you get to pick out a whole box full of jewelry, so. Some people buy it for me, like I said, for a treasure hunt on their own, or they might buy it for crafting. Kind of just depends. Oh, it looks like we have an earring in there. A little matching earring, I don't see any others though. Just like a three string. Looks like a nice chain, pretty nice chain, I think. Mm. And I got like the matching earring, so it's a nice chain, nice beads, little plastic beads though. Hmm. Napier. I just got that other Napier. I don't remember if it was in my last popular box before, uh, but it ended up being a Susan Kaplan, the designer, and she designed, I guess, with Napier or something like that. I'm not sure, um, but it ended up being like a $200 necklace. So make sure to check even this like Napier jewelry too. This is a nice piece, three strand, really nice shape. So yeah, I'll definitely keep this one. Oh, look, we got a little, little kid's hair tie here. You get all kinds of random stuff in these. Our price, $26 chains, multi, a multi-use chain, I guess. It looks like it's broken off though. Hmm. Too bad. Always make sure to check those earrings. You know, they can get a pretty penny for, for an earring. Well, this looks like it's pretty rough shape here. Got tore tear right there. Cute style, but 
little snowflake just in time for Christmas. Made in the USA. Any other? Not seen any other mark? Oh, where there's a marking over there. What does that say? JJ. You know, I've got a couple of these. I don't know if it's maybe it was JJ. I think it was JJ. So, little designer out there. Making these. Oh, this is pretty. Like, uh, what is that? Teardrop? Little T class, too. Pretty little twist design. I like when they get a little more creative. Like the twisting. I don't think those are markings. I think those are just like edges. Yeah. It's a good looking necklace. These are cold to the touch, so I wonder if these are dyed granite or something or maybe it is granite I don't know I don't know I'm still learning hmm. it's reading glass but it's a nice necklace I've gotten one kind of just like this one but it's got a bigger and it's a little more cream color Got out of a Goodwill blue box too, so it might be a good pair. I saw Goodwill actually has the um, more expensive boxes right now, and I'm really debating on if I get one. So you guys, let me know your opinion. Should I get the two hundred dollar? Supposed to be like high end jewelry and like designer, and but it's it's definitely an expensive box. So I would have to sell a couple pieces. <laughs> and get one of those boxes, but they don't do them for very long, so I might have to try and snag one of those up. Um, I just debate on it so much because I, you know, you like last week I found like $1,000 in that box, so it's just hard sometimes to like, do I spend that money, do I not? So you guys let me know what you think. Another little beaded necklace. This would be fun for my kids. They would, my son would probably like that. All my kids love the jewelry. When I get a box in there, Ma, let's open it. I'm like, no, I have to do videos. <laughs> Back off the box. Little faux pearl necklace. Oh, Brighton. It's nice. I have another Brighton piece right now. So Brighton's a good brand. Oh, $27 too. So probably sell it for about that. I mean, these look never worn. Good condition, original packaging too. So it's pretty cool. Nice little flowers, little heart shape. Yeah, good looking. It's nice when some of them come in like their own bags and stuff or their own stuff too. The original packaging, the new with tag. If you're on Poshmark, they give you that option of like the new with tag. And some people like that. Maybe they're buying it for a gift and want to get it for a deal, but get that original packaging. So this is a nice pair of earrings together. Just plastic beads and stuff, but still nice and colorful. Alex and Ani, 2013. Looks like an L. And sometimes I sell these, sometimes I don't. Just kind of depends on the shape. This one looks a little bit rough on the back side. Uh, but I've sold Alex and Ani too, so. A little plastic earring. Mm, another plastic. It's kind of pretty big. Let's see if we can find a match to that. I kind of like the little statement earrings or something that kind of stands out a little bit. A little hair tie. Some like Roman coins it looks like or supposed to look like Roman coins. Another little bangle. More bangles. So many bangles. Ooh, what's this? Hmm, looks like it's missing a piece, but pretty tarnished. It's interesting to have that little, little bit dangling down there. A little stretchy, stretchy band. Another stretchy plastic beaded band. Oh, these are nice and heavy. Who are you? Hmm, it's kind of look like pearls to me, but not quite. Are they, is this pearls? Mm, I don't know. 
It's like knotted in between two. I wonder if they're like glass beads or anything. Let's just test it and see if there's reads glass or anything. No? Hmm, that's interesting. What are these? What do you guys think these are? They've got like the ridges on them, if you can see. Little ridges. There. Hmm. See all those little ridges? I don't know. Is it glass? I mean, it feels pretty heavy. Looks like we've got a little marking on here, too. Let's see what it says. 925. Okay, I wouldn't have thought that was 925. Hmm, interesting. Hmm, I don't know what these are. They're gritty. But I don't see any, like, like, tarnishing on them or, you know, like, when you can see sometimes the glass ones, they have that, um, it's like a flat spot on there. Hmm, very interesting. What do you guys think these are? Are they glass? But obviously they're not glass. I just tested them. Huh, it's like a baby blue bluish silverish 925 clasp i'm pretty chunky too so hmm, i'm gonna have to do some research on that that's a nice little bracelet very chunky they're really raised i guess i should say reminds me of like a like american indian too with the metal work no mark or anything. Oh, oh, maybe there's a mark. Hmm. Oh, I think that's just scratches on the metal. Hmm. Looks like just scratches, maybe a little bit of tarnishing. It's in good shape though. I mean, this is a nice looking bracelet. It's pretty, like almost like a periwinkle type of blue. Blues look like different color. That's interesting, you see? I think this one's more purpley, this one's more blue. I don't know if you can tell. I think it's just plastic, but let's just hit it with a, yeah. I think it's just plastic, but still, nifty little bracelet. I like that. Chunky little thing. All right, got a little tangle here. All right, first up is this guy. It looks a little dirty, but it doesn't look like in bad shape. I just almost feel like glass or like enamel. They're pretty heavy. I like the little swirl around, nice detail. So yeah, it's pretty good, like a necklace here. Let's see if I can get it in the shot. Here we go. It's interesting, it's got like the one random, one all the way at the top, I don't know if you can see it. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. I like it. This is a nice little chunky necklace. I usually don't keep chunky necklaces, just because I find them kind of hard to sell, but I like the like raised jewels on it. It's very sparkly. I don't know if you can see how sparkly. It's very sparkly. It's a good looking necklace. Yeah, I might have to keep this one. I don't really wear chunky necklaces anymore. I, I, I'm kind of into like more of the dainty style, but I still think these are definitely in style and I think they very classic look. The teardrops are really nice shape to it. So yeah, it's a nice piece. Got a ring here, it distracted me. It's a little, little shell necklace. And then what are you? You got little like dangles here. What's going on? All right. Okay, there we go. So it's supposed to have like these rings down and the tassels kind of go, go through both of those, I think, or does this, only got one hook so does it hook on here maybe it goes in the front 
like hooks on one of these or something and it goes in the front. I'm a little confused, but I like the coloring on it. It's a good looking piece. No tarnishing or anything that I can see. No marking though, just a no name costume. But you can sell costume jewelry, so don't knock it until you try it. Try and sell those pieces and you might be very surprised what you can sell. Kind of has that like that brightened look on it, but I don't see any markings. This might, this might actually be sterling or silver. Just have to do a lot of cleanup on it. But we'll see about that one. In Korea. Korea, Korea. It's a nice twisted chain though. You see it? Nice little twist to it. I might just keep this for, you know, maybe I could put something on this chain. This might be another little toe ring. Might be silver too, so. Hmm. This is 10, is it 10 cents or $10? Let's see, it's inside. Very nice jewels. Wise, just one clip on. Wise, but it looks really nice and shiny. But it is shiny. I just love something. God, who, who doesn't like shiny things? I love shiny things. We'll just put it back in the bag. I'll do a little bit of research and see, see what it is. Oh. All right. Got a little ring here. It's like bubbled. It looks very, very fake. Let's see, what does that say? Mina, Mina bird, Laurel birch, hmm, Laurel birch. It's a pretty earring. I haven't heard of Laurel birch yet. I think I learn a new designer every single time I have one of these boxes. BSK. See that other birch is kind of like that too, where it's got that BSK mark or you know JJ mark. This looks pretty tarnished though. All right, got a little bedazzled brooch here. Not as shiny as that other one. This looks a little bit tarnished, a bit worn. Oh, I bet these are little freshwater pearls. Don't see anything on there. Resealable. So I bet these are pearls. I might have to keep these for myself. It's a nice little in the package too. It's nice. I don't have a set of pearls anymore. The glue on there is not very pretty. Nine two five. So that's nice. This is nine two five. I wish that glue wasn't so. You see that glue on there? Eh, maybe I can clean that up a little bit. But shoot, if I mean, if I'm wearing them, but see, this one doesn't have that, so. Another 925. Let's see what the, let's see what the stem of this says. Yep, 925. So that's cool. Nice set of pearls there. Yep. Gritty little pearl. So that's cool. Every lady has to have a set of pearls, right? I have that pearl necklace, that blue pearl necklace still. I haven't, haven't sold that thing yet. I've, hoarding some things, you know, like I said, I'm starting my own collection. I, I think I'm going to do a video to you guys. Let me know your thoughts on this. I think I'm going to do a video on all of the stuff that I found in Goodwill blue boxes, because I have got at least like a couple grand of jewelry at this point. Um, so oh, sterling silver, huh? 
So yeah, I'm thinking about doing a video to show you guys everything that I've gotten out of Blue Box so far. Because it is insane. Like I have gotten, I mean, gold, I think I have like two or three gold bracelets now. Um, you know, those vintage blue pearls I have. It's a lot. <laughs> it is so much. I, I need to like my own little space for all the finds that I have. I have them in my little jewelry box right now, but I think I need to get like a little something bigger. So these didn't taste test for anything, but it's still sterling and people like to buy the sterling earrings. So those would be nice earrings to sell. I'm not into really, I used to be really into like the bigger chunky. I used to, in high school, I had the, the rings on every finger. I was very like jeweled out, the big earrings. The, yeah, I was very into jewelry. So it's funny how I, comes back around to me, right? All right, it's kind of like that same as that, that necklace with that like dyed look. Let's see if there's any, any reading on it. Looks like it's reading just glass, but that's a nice piece. Maybe it's just dyed glass or something. I don't know, can you dye glass? I mean, I guess, I don't know. $18, wow, what is this? Oh, I just broke it. Oops, <laughs> not $18 anymore. A little band there, I might be able to like tie that off, cut it off, I don't know. This looks a little outstretched too, so, hmm, it's interesting. It's a nice little bracelet though. Not a bad earring. I don't know if I showed you guys that very well. Not a bad earring. Kind of silver and gold toned. Now your earring. Does it say one? Yep, it says. Oh, maybe it has an I. I O N E. I O N E. What does that spell? Hmm. It's very interesting. And you're right, dogs. Hmm. The dogs are in here making bodily noises over here. Uh, I think maybe this used to be an earring. It's not anymore. Oh yeah, so there it is. It has the glue on the back. The earring must have popped off. So. Oh, no one of one of these brooches. I just posted one of a brooch just like this color. It was an LC brooch though. I don't see any markings on this one, but it's still a very shiny, pretty little thing. Ooh. 925, is that like a jade or something? Let's see, isn't jade green? Hmm. It's reading kind of up and down on glass. Try to calibrate this thing really quick and make sure. Hmm. I'm gonna turn it off and back on. But I'll set that aside. We can keep on going. It's a nice jeweled earring. Large. Oh. Some kind of writing in there. Hmm, I cannot read what that says. Yeah, I can't read what that says. Well, we'll put this aside anyways and see if we can find a match. Gotta be careful with these brooches. Ooh, that airplane was just like sticking straight up like this in the box. <laughs> Don't just go in there blind and dig. Get stabbed. All right, yep, so let's check the bar. You guys are so awesome with your advice. Like, I really appreciate all the help and support that you guys give me. Um, I feel like I just can't say that enough. You guys have helped me learn so much and like I read books and I, you know, of course I watch other YouTubers, um, like Texas Gal Treasures and, uh, Kristen D and a couple other ones. Um, but sometimes, you know, it just having you guys' comments, just it really, I've learned so much from you guys. So I just really, I cannot thank you enough. You guys have been such great teachers and encouragers and, um, yeah, I just, I appreciate, I appreciate all the help with that. 
So yeah, I don't see any markings on this. This is a really cute little airplane. Really cool. If it didn't have the brooch on it, my son would like die for this, but um, yeah, it's a really cool piece. Nice jeweled out all over the whole. Really, really cool brooch. I like that it's kind of raised over here too, so it would kind of stick out. Look like it's flying. Pretty neat. All right, looks like we got like the same thing, but different shapes here. Yeah, yeah, if I can get it. What does it say? Oh my goodness, it's hard to read. All right. Oh, Joanne River. Okay. Joanne Rivers. So I'm sure that's what this is too. Yep, Joanne Rivers. Cool. So we'll see if we can find some matches for those. Like a little like flower. Don't see any markings on it, but still pretty little little thing. And broken. Broken piece. All right, we got another. Got lots of sterling today. Kansas City. Got some family in Kansas City. I think. Right? I know my grandma's out there. Hey, grandma, if you're watching. That's cool. Nice little footprint, little charm. And a brooch. Lots of brooches today. My goodness. So many brooches. I don't see any markings on that either, but or the bar. Did I look at yeah, I did look at the bar. Yeah, no markings, but nice jeweled brooch. That dark metal on there. I've been running some sales on my site, so if you're interested in a piece, it's most likely gonna be on sale soon. I'm trying to clean out a little bit of the inventory, so look at that, another one of those. All right. It's a nice little pendant. 77 or something on there. It's a nice little pendant. Look nice on a chain. Yeah, this is fake. Yeah, just some ridges and stuff on there. This would have been really cute if it wasn't broken. It's just snapped right off. This would have been really nice though. Those jewels on it, it would have been really pretty. Maybe somebody can fix it. Oh, this is nice. All right, we got some more, another tungsten. I already have another tungsten. Carbide. Oh, I wonder if that fit my husband. He's in need of a nicer ring. Oh, that's nice. Nice little tungsten ring. And I know tungsten can go, um, you know, in the $100 range, $100, $200, $300 dollar ranges. So I'll have to do a little bit of research, but I like the little raised edges there, the flat, the flat matte type of coloring on there too. That's a cool piece. And that's a nice find. All right, so another one of those like, I don't know if this is dyed or if this is granite, I don't know. Hmm, the pearls don't seem to be real. Let's try another one. Yeah, those are not real. I'm trying to see if there's any markings on this clasp. 925 or anything. Doesn't seem to be, but this is a nice, nice necklace as well. Match that other one perfectly. So sometimes I like to sell things together, some like sometimes I don't. So it just kind of depends on what I'm trying to sell. So in the package, these are kind of those trendy pieces that like marbled. Marbled earring. Those are nice. Definitely a nice trendy piece. Another stretch band bracelet. Could have been a watch or something. I don't know. Hmm. No markings on that. Look at that puppy. I have a necklace that would match this perfectly. I wonder if this is like Banana Republic. My other one's Banana Republic. My phone ran out of storage. I need to get some more storage. So, but yeah, that's a nice one. And then this little one. I 
Mm, nothing. Um, I've also thought about maybe doing some live videos too, so you guys let me know. I just like to hear you guys' feedback and opinions, so you guys let me know if you guys want to do any live videos. Um, just bear in mind I have kids, so... <laughs> I might have to do like a live video when like my husband's on break or something where he can watch to take the kiddos out of the house. That's a nice jeweled piece. Very blingy. Class works really nice though. Yeah, that's a nice, nice little blingy piece. No markings on that one. Oh, check that out. Oh, another nice. It's not like a, the Mexican style. Colorful little skulls. This is really nice. I wonder if that's set in a gate. It's really cool. It's like curved up like that. Nice clasp. 925. I can see it on the little clasp right there. 925. So that's pretty. Pretty, pretty. Let's see. It's written a little bit higher than glass. It kind of jumps back down, so I don't know. Let's test some other ones. Oops. Yeah. Wonder, maybe some quartz. It's reading a little bit higher than glass, so I wonder if that's just glass. You can kind of see through it like in a gate. Definitely isn't that a gate color, but 925 on the class too, so that's cool. It's a good piece. What are you? A broken earring, I think. Very large broken earring. Ooh, a big old metal piece again. No markings on this bangle. All right, so the last time I had a chain like this, somebody looks like they hold it together with a string or something maybe. That's interesting. Um, I thought it was maybe a super long necklace, but one of you mentioned that maybe it was a belt. So maybe this is a belt. It kinda, kinda definitely has that belt look to it. Uh, that thicker chain, and we could easily just be a necklace, but it fits my waist, so, hmm. Or my hips, whatever you wanna call it. It's very, very long, so I think that might be a belt. What do you say, little elephant? Gold filled, okay, cool. 12K gold filled. That's nice, JMS. Oh, let's see, let's hope for a match for you, little buddy. Gold filled is a little more expensive than gold plated, a little more gold in there, so that's cool. Oh, yay, we found the match. Yay, found the matching pair. It's still in the hoops too, that's cool. I guess it goes that way, right? Cool, that's nice. There's some nice, nice pieces right there. I guess I could test this and make sure it's glass or something. So shiny, look at that. Ooh, super shiny. I'm about to get my desk soon, so maybe I can do a little house tour for you guys soon. Looks like it's trying to read a little bit of glass, so. We'll go with glass, I think that's probably right. Very shiny like glass, so. Look at that, ooh, lordy. Oh, this is a nice chain. Again, Napier. It's nice, look at that chain, it's very sparkly, very shiny. So, um, yeah, I know some of Napier too will do like gold plated and stuff, so maybe I should rub this on there and see. Rub it on my stone. No other markings, but yeah, it's nice. Nice little chain there. I don't know why they put that in the earring pile. 
Okay, 925. What else does it say? W3 or 3M. We got fly in here. Uh, yeah, nice little 925 on there. Oop, and we got an earring to match. I'm just going to grab a couple things. Starting to get a little bit closer to the bottom here, guys. Oh, dropping stuff. All right, this is, I actually have a necklace that would match this so perfectly. The three, like still, I have, it's a diamond for me. I have a diamond and then two smaller stones on each side that are white sapphires. Um, my husband actually got it for me. Yeah, it looks fake to me. Ring, maybe glass. Yeah, it's like glass to me. Uh, it's nice. Might have to keep this for myself. We shall see. All right, a little locket with a cross. Let's see if she opens up. I've got gel, these are gel nails, so it's kind of hard to open stuff, I'm kind of getting used to it still. Let's see some writing right there. The Vatican Library Collection. So uh, I don't have the chain, but I, could definitely get a little gold chain for it. So, um, yeah, I have a Vatican Library cross. I want to, I think I might have already sold it, but uh, I think it was like 20 bucks. So, I'll probably do the same for this, like 20, 30 bucks since it's a locket. So, Queen Regency Elizabeth II. My dogs are being so gross over there. So that's a nice, nice coin. I don't know if these are worth anything. 1962, um, two shillings. So yeah, I don't know if that's going to be worth anything. If you guys know anything about these little coins, let me know. That's a nice little pearl. I'm assuming this is just costume. Costume jewelry. Ugh. Like I said, these nails, I don't even have the fake fake ones these are still my real nails so imagine if I had fake ones all right no markings all righty let's see gotta check the stems I think it says something right there. I just can't get the lighting quite right. Yeah, it says 10K, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it says, 10K. And it's got like maybe a Y or something. So that's cool, 10K gold. Let's see. I was like, oh, is that another one? Might be. We'll look at it in a second. Let's see. I'm not reading anything, but ooh, so shiny. Okay, no diamond or anything, but pretty little thing. It says 10K on it, so just to, to see. This says anything. Lighting is not good today. Hmm. I don't see anything. Ugh. No markings on there. So I'm assuming this is just costume, but let's Test the stone ends anyways. St I don't know what I was trying to say there. Test the stones anyways. So yeah, it doesn't even look like it's reading glass or anything. And then we got one more. 
Looks like there's markings on there. Let me see. 925. 925 something. I can't read that. 925. Maybe it's Japan or something. It says 925 though, so that's cool. I guess I should test, test that stone before we. Also, super shiny. And yeah, nothing. All right. So one's 10K, one's... And let's go and test these stones. No markings on it either, but we'll test the stones anyways. Nothing and nothing. Okay. Oops, we'll put these over here. The piles are starting to join together here. Oh, all right. Fashion beads, glass beads, all right. Nice for our lot pile. Little angel. I don't know what this is either. Um, obviously it's a brooch, but. Um, no markings to be seen. Nothing there. Alrighty. Uh oh, what do we have here? Oh, little abalone and this enamel. I don't know if I've gotten any black one. I like the black on it. I do. I love the color black, you guys. I have really dark hair, so I don't know. I just feel like black vibes with me. Black, I'm like wearing a gray dress. Like I'm always about some dark tones. It says maybe 925. What does it say on here? Yeah, 925. Looks like if I were the same. Yeah, 925. Just upside down. Yeah, the Alpaca Mexico mark. That's cool. This is a vintage piece then. That's nice. It's actually super nice. It would look so cute with my outfit today. Ooh, she fits just right. It's a nice little piece. I like that. Ring, I'm going to ditch you. Sorry, buddy. Look at that. That's so cute. The abalone. Ow. Hit my elbow. What do you say? Avon. So that's cool. And you guys told me to make sure to check the stones. So we're going to check the stones. I have gotten a real ruby from them before. So nothing on that one. Still pretty. Look at all these. If you guys could see all these earrings right now, look at all these earrings that we have gotten so far. So much. I have to. Dive through. Okay, so we have a match to this one. No markings on these, but got a match. Looks like we got some crystal action here. If I can get it out. Oh my goodness. All right. Here we go with the untangling. All right, where are you? Let's see. Get you undone first. Slide it out of here. All right, this looks very tore up glass beads. Trend River, but very, very tore up beads. All right, let's see if we have some crystal. I'm gonna just scoot all this over. Get out of my way. All right, this is an earring. Ugh, kind of looks like Mother of Pearl-ish, maybe. Yeah, it's going to compare to this one. Hmm. I don't know. Cute earring, though. My dogs are all about the bodily functions right now. Like burping over there. <laughs> like, y'all need to go outside. 
I'm a big old Great Dane. I need to show you all my big old Great Dane one day. He's like 185 pounds. He's a big old boy. He stands up over six foot tall. He is, Matt, you can hear him right now, slapping his ears around. He is a big boy. He's the biggest dog I've ever seen. It's my husband's. Husband's boy before I came in long. Now he's my boy. <laughs> Isn't that right, Maxie? It's a cool little necklace. Gives me like uh, Aztec vibes or something, you know? The leather. It's a nice little crystal. I know some people are really into crystals and they're healing and all the fun stuff with the crystals. Let's see if we got anything here. Oh, yeah. Nice reading on that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that blue coloring is, though. Beautiful crystal. I bet I could clean this up. I bet this is like sterling or something. So, yeah, that's nice. Ooh, she is pretty. Shiny, shiny. So I'll definitely try and sell that. Maybe put it on a chain, like a like a 925 chain, though. Take it off this. Put that chain on there. Clean this up. Ooh, that'd be a pretty little necklace. Nice little shiny. Almost put it in my lot pile. It's kind of cute with the streaks of that yellow. I wasn't expecting that. Nine two five. There's stamp in the middle. It's a little jewels. Ooh, look at this guy. Shiny. Where did you go, Loop? Taiwan. Taiwan. Let's see if it reads anything. Hmm, it's nice reading glass. Do you really get them to read glass? That was just a jump. What's going on? I'm going to start reading it. Hmm. Interesting. Oh my goodness, she fits. I'm shocked. My little chubby knuckles here. Nice little ring. It's broken. I think it says 925 on that little clip there. If it closed all the way. I'm sure I could fix that fairly easy. So, yeah. A lot it goes. Um, okay, there we go. Maggie, you better go lay down. Go lay down, Maggie. It says H A N, right? Okay, man, China. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, and it does have the, I think it says 925 right there. Yep, 925. So this could clean up probably pretty good. One day, I'm gonna find a giant diamond. You watch, watch me. <laughs> That's pretty cute. Little mail, little box, mailbox, I guess. Probably put that on a little necklace would be really cute. Maybe give it to my kids so they can play with it. Fight over it. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see what else we got in here. I'm going to grab a couple things out while I can. And lots of pearls. Oh. All right, so. So much silver today, man. Lots of silver today. I wonder if my kids think I'm so crazy. <laughs> like, is she talking to herself down here? She's like, what is going on with mom? All right, no reading on that. That's a pretty little ring, a little square, square in there. Little dyed shell. Looks like the band is broken on half of them now. That's a nice little pearl. Let's see if you're real. 
Mm. I think not. Yeah, they're like sticking to each other, but I don't think it's from... I don't think it's a real... Yeah, I'm just scraping off the, the fake... the coating over it. Hmm. Yeah. Put her in a lot. Sal? Never heard of Sal before, right? So it says S A L. Sal. Hmm. That's a pretty little bracelet. It was just a. There's a couple spots of tarnishing. I don't know if I can clean that off or not. Yeah. Not reading anything. That's a nice, nice bracelet. I sure. I love gold too. Who doesn't, right? Who doesn't love gold? I'm shocked this doesn't say 925. It looks 925 to me. Nice little pearl in there. Goodness, I got some earrings to go through. I'll tell you that much. A little cameo earring here. Cameo. Little masquerade brooch in black and white. I think that's a masquerade, right? A masquerade ball? Am I seeing that? Is that correct? Let me know. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that's a that's a cute piece. Oh, nice little bug there. I preschool my kids at home, so um, we're like I'm gonna do a bug project next week. So I'm debating, do I keep this for my little book project? Maybe my daughter can put it on her clothes or something. That's what's nice about these boxes too, is you know, they're I use them for a lot of different things, not just reselling, but you know, I can give some stuff to my daughter and my son too. Boys can wear jewelry too. Marking. That's a nice cute little star right there. Very shiny. Very shiny. Just gonna pull the rest of this stuff out. And anything else in here? looks to be it guys nothing too crazy this week I do like this guy though sold my last ones of these so ugh I'm be torn gotta make my money back though right it's a cute little leaf brooch can't even see it sorry guys cute little leaf brooch another eh, brooch I wonder if this is sterling. Little hearts on it. Oh, maybe is that. Hmm. Remember that bracelet that said it was $27. I wonder if that was a part of it. I'll dig through and we'll see. This is nice. A necklace. Hmm. These like mother of pearl beads? I don't know. What is this? They're just plastic beads. I don't know. I like the coloring on it though. Looks like little jade beads too. Hmm. Let's 
Look out the Presidium one more time. Nothing on any of these. Wing two five, what is this? What is that? I don't know, what is all it? Nine two five on it. Hmm. Interesting. Have a little stretch band. It's a nice little bracelet too. And the black black stones. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely a nice little piece. We've got this guy. Little purple hues. Holy cow, the amount of earrings that I had this week. Like, holy cow. <laughs> That's a lot. Alrighty. You pearl. You pearl, I haven't heard of that before. Nine two five, so let's just test this. Little stone, I said I was the last time on the last one. <laughs> nice glass piece. Don't see any matches, but another JJ earring. Little LC. Missing a stone, no? Right there. All right, these are cool. I don't know if these are like onyx or anything. 925 and 925. Those are 925. And then this one, look, I got like a whole set. But I could put a 925 chain on there. Yeah, these were 925 too, right? Aren't they? Yeah, the class says 925. And it matches that perfectly, and that says 925, so. It's a nice little set. Shoot, you can almost do two sets of earrings and that. I don't know if it's like obsidian or anything. No snowflake obsidian. It's like, it has, you know, the white flecks in it though, so it kind of looks like plastic on here. These seem more like glass. Hmm, interesting. These are kind of like matte, but these are very shiny. Very interesting. Alrighty. Nothing on there. Looks to be some plastic. And then a little clip on earring. So you can see all this just broken pieces down here. Lots of broken, broken pieces, broken pieces. Yeah. All right. Last two guys. Looks like that matches that necklace. Don't seem to match though. Be a nice lot for somebody who wants to play around with some earrings. Looks like Premier Designs. All right, guys. Well, I didn't have diamonds this time. Looks like we got a lot of sterling. A lot, a lot of sterling. Some Mexico, which this is a nice piece. So that's a really nice piece. Definitely helped me save this box. I still have no idea what these are. These blue, blue things. It says 925, and then it's got these ridges. So you guys, let me know what you think. Lots of sterling, like I said, some mystery beads here. So if you guys haven't hit that subscribe button, go and hit that subscribe button for me. 
Um, if you have any questions, if you have any advice to give me, um, any information to share, please share it with me. And um, until next time.